day four of 31 tip for health gain December. Yung tip natin for today is just very simple. Skip at least one rice ngayong araw. Kung hindi pa talaga magawa yung complete life without rice, at least magsimula sa isa lang. I know na marami sa inyo na matagal nang namumuhay ng walang rice. Just like the 350,000 members ng Life Without Rice. But para sa ngayon pa lang nagsisimula, you can ease in slowly. Dahan-dahan lang. Hindi kailangan biglain. Wala tayong pinaglalaban. But of course, if you want to improve your health, the fastest, most natural way, baka gusto nyong pababain yung inyong carbohydrate intake. Ano-ano nga ba yung mga carbohydrates? So yung carbohydrates, eto yung mga klase ng macronutrient na kung saan pwede natin siyang magamit as energy through glucose. So yung carbohydrate, siya yung mother umbrella. Under carbohydrate, meron itong fiber, meron itong starch, meron itong simple sugar. So yung starch and fiber are complex carbohydrates. Yung fiber, hindi siya natutunaw, hindi siya nakoconvert into energy but yung starch ay nakoconvert into energy through glucose. At meron ding simple sugars or simple carbohydrates tulad ng glucose, fructose, lactose, dextrose, at marami pang iba. At yung mga simple sugars na ito, ito yung bigla-bigla talaga nagsuspike ng ating blood sugar. Tulad ng mga asukal, matatamis, fructose, yung mga syrup, nasa chocolates, nasa desserts. Alam natin kailangan yung iwasan. But yung hindi natin alam, hindi natin na-emphasize is that yung starch or yung complex carbohydrates kapag nasasobrahan yung pagkain natin ito and it is also very easy to overeat. Sobrang bilis po itong ma-overeat because it is dense, parang siksik na siksik po siya because it is a complex carbohydrates. It is actually composed of, ito ay, ay composed of multiple glucose or simple sugar na kapag na-breakdown na, it will easily increase our blood sugar. So, number one sa kapagkaing Pinoy is rice. So, kanin talaga. One cup of rice is equivalent to like 10 teaspoons of white sugar. So, kung kayo ay umiiwas na sa asukal pero hindi kayo umiiwas sa kanin, that could be the reason kung bakit meron pa rin kayong degree of inflammation sa katawan. Meron pa rin pagtaas ng blood sugar, meron pa rin pagtaas ng blood pressure, yung inyong pananakit, aches and pains, brain fog, hindi maka-concentrate, parating ginugutom, parating may cravings, then that could be related to your too much carbohydrate intake ng complex carbohydrates. Of course, eating complex carbohydrates is better than eating simple sugars, but if you want to heal, kung gusto nyo talagang mas madali kayong gumaling, you might need to really reduce your intake of starchy vegetables or yung mataas sa complex carbohydrates that are digestible or can easily be converted into glucose. Naaalala nyo ba kung paano kayong umuya ng kanin na sa sobrang tagal nyong pagmuya, ito yung nagiging matamis na? It is because from the complex carbohydrates which is starch, or a chain of glucose, or branching chains of glucose. So, kung ang kadaliit nito is glucose, so the whole finger would be a sample, a part of starch. So, ganun siya ka-dense. So, kaya siya siksik na siksik. So, that's why mahirap mang paniwalaan. But one cup of white rice is equivalent to about 10 to 12 teaspoons ng white sugar when it comes to net carbohydrate content or the simple sugar content. Okay. Kung tatanungin, black rice, red rice, so baka kung nasa 10 to 11, na 10 to 12, yung equivalent non when it comes to sugar, yung red rice, yung black rice, siguro nasa 9 to 11. So th those are just rough estimate, but it will only goes to show na yung difference nila is not that much. It is still carbohydrates. It is still starch na kailangan natin iwasan. Colored rice, dark colored rice will have more fiber, will have more trace minerals and nutrients. But hindi siya enough to compensate sa effect, especially sa bad effect ng too much sugar. If you are exercising, physically active, at wala namang problema when it comes to your metabolism, yeah, you can do that. But just recognize na huwag kayong magtaka na kahit pa nagbabay kayo everyday, kahit pa grabe kayo maka-gym, grabe kayo maka-exercise, and you, by the time you reach 40, 45, 50, 
even if you are full of muscles, kahit pa physically fit kayo tingnan, don't be surprised kung madadiagnose pa rin kayo ng diabetes that early. So, when that happens, I hope it will not happen, pero kung mangyayari yan, try to look at your overall net carb intake and you can start today by skipping at least one rice. And hopefully, when you skip the rice, you can supplement it with green leafy vegetables, non-starchy vegetables, as much as you can. Instead of just one bowl serving, pwede yung gawing tatlo or apat or lima or seven servings of vegetables. If you are looking at increasing your your potassium intake, your fiber intake, you can actually eat as much as seven cups of vegetables a day. So, kaya nyo ba yun? Kung hindi nyo kaya kumain ng seven cups of vegetables, pero kaya nyo kumain ng seven cups of rice or kahit three cups of rice, then you have to reassess your choices. When it comes to vitamins and minerals and calories, mas mainam, we choose the foods that are rich in vitamins and minerals and kung meron man itong calories, mababa na nanggagaling sa carbohydrates. Kung meron man itong calories, it can come from proteins and fats because proteins and fats are the source, are alternative source of energy. Pwedeng manggaling yung ating energy na hindi lang dependent sa glucose, sa carbohydrates. Pwede silang manggaling sa fats and proteins, pero wala itong kasamang inflammation. Wala itong kasamang insulin spike. Kasi kapag kumakain tayo parate ng calories coming from carbohydrates, ito ay makakalid into the build up of fats sa ating katawan. Yung iba tumataba, yung iba hindi tumataba, but their blood cholesterol levels, their visceral fats, their liver are piling up fats. Nagiging fatty liver pa din. And that is because of the carbohydrate insulin model. Carbohydrate insulin model dictates that it's not just about the calories that will matter when it comes to our metabolism, when it comes to our fuel source. Because as long as mataas yung insulin sa katawan, then your body will keep on looking for sugar. Unless you you become really insulin resistant at sobrang sira na ng katawan mo that you go into a diabetic ketoacidosis. Yung mataas yung blood sugar at mataas din yung ketones kasi nga sobrang deprived na yung katawan mo sa energy. But that happens in end stage na talaga ng mga diabetics. And of course, if you already are taking medications, try to not do it on your own na basta-basta lang kasi baka mas malagay sa piligro yung inyong pangangatawan because you might not be doing it right and there might be complications as well. So that's why I hope you can start your journey today. If ngayon pa lang kayo magsisimula, we invite you to join our support groups, Life Without Rice in Facebook and Low Carb Feasting and Fasting Community. Kung kayo ay membro na, try to share this video. Baka lang makatulong kayo sa inyong family and friends na magsimula sa lifestyle na ito. Because this will not benefit anybody but you. Ikayo lang po, not just low carb but also some degree of fasting to optimize our health. And I would like to say happy birthday, greet happy birthday to Honey Gallio. I know you are always following the page and hindi man tayo nag-uusap in person but it reaches me how, how devoted you are to this way of life and I hope na kahit pa paano na you are already doing well and doing better with your journey, with, with your healing. Know that you have the whole community and you have myself that will always pray for your healing. So maraming salamat for always supporting us. And I hope you get to enjoy your day and wishing you a more productive, more, more abundant and healthy and happier year ahead and the years to come. That's my wish for you and also my wish for all of you who are watching right now. Live viewers of 1,792 and kindly share this also to your friends and family para matulungan natin sila. Skipping at least one rice today and change it kapag sinabing hindi ako mabubusog kapag walang rice. Try to replace it with more nutrient-dense foods. You can choose between meat, gawing dalawa yung ulam, gawing tatlo yung gula, or apat yung gulay. Take water. Make sure you are also 
adequately taking care of your electrolytes, especially salt, hindi po kasalanan ng asin kung bakit tayo tumataas yung ating blood pressure. It's mostly related to insulin pa din because insulin will make your body absorb the salt and where where salt goes, water follows, kaya nagkakaroon ng water retention and nagkakaroon ng increase in blood volume. That is why kapag sa mga taong nagsisimula mag-low carb, they will notice na kanilang blood pressure ay bumabagsak but not to the point of hypotension. Just enough na hindi talaga nagsuspike, not going beyond 128 over 80. So kung meron kayong problems with blood sugar, with blood pressure, with aches and pains, pananakit sa katawan, or any other problems, try to look at your food intake. Baka lang nasusobrahan kayo when it comes to carbohydrates, starting with rice. Kasi alam natin na masama yung mga matatamis, yung soft drinks, yung mga desserts, but, and we try to avoid them. And if you already avoided all of them, and yet, hindi pa rin maganda yung inyong pangangatawan. Nagkakaroon pa kasi ng mga bukol-bukol, pangihina, uh, pananakit ng katawan, blood pressure na hindi bumababa, blood sugar na parating mataas, then maybe it's time for you to check your food. Check our JGC Rojo food list para makita ninyo. Baka pa lang makatulong sa inyo and try to stick on the safe list. Try to do it for two weeks, one month, and see for yourself kung ano magiging reaction ninyo. So thank you everyone. Maraming salamat po. I'll see you in Davao on December 10 to 11. Not sure, ha? But hindi pa namin na finalize if it's December 10 or 11. But I hope you can come. And also, for our Iloilo followers, sa mga friends and families natin dyan in Iloilo, we might be able to have a meet and greet in Iloilo dinner time on December 13. If you think you can, if you think you can join and help organize meron kayong place dyan kasi hindi pa naman ito final, final, you can contact our admin, Angela, for details. And you can contact her in 0917-993-1239, specific concern for our meet and greet, Davao and Iloilo. So maraming salamat everybody. Always remember to stay low carb so that we all stay safe. Have a good day.